Oh, look at that. Hello. Good morning. All right. So where we left off last time, we got our solar panels going. We turned on the lights. Um, did I turn this off? Yeah, well, let me turn it off now. We do have some power available to us. Let's take a look at the day. It is currently one month, two days in, and it's August 11th. Oh, uh, we got a fog. Really not that big of a deal. We've got three solar panels on top, so we are in a great position. We killed 1,287 zombies to get started. So today, I actually want to change things up. I want to take some time and start making a home for ourselves. We've done well. Uh, we've done well. And I think it's time to take a small break for the evening, so I'm going to actually clean up my mess. My intention is to... Uh, I don't know. I do love these paintings, by the way, so I think they're going to stay. We're going to get some counters going. We're going to configure our kitchen. I'm going to fix this tile. That thing is bothering me. And um, maybe we'll also get some decent food going because our food situation isn't great, but we are a forager. And if you actually look at it, uh, our dried foods or rather foods that we'd have to make into something our high calorie processed foods are in a good position but we don't have fresh food and that's something i do want to remedy as we move forward love the planning thank you yes absolutely it's important to have a plan when you get started so um let's go ahead and do that what i want to do first is probably take inventory of what we have in the trunk i know i didn't clear out the entire trunk when we got stopped oh, when we stopped last time we were streaming on monday as our makeup so we've got our bags back here our hand axe our wood axe Ooh, that's right we did have the wood axe okay my whole plan just changed so what i'm going to do real quick is make a couple changes to what we are carrying and we're gonna we're gonna leave the car we don't need to take that with us right now grab the wood axe and instead of like we'll we'll get to the kitchen tile we're gonna start working some of this wood line here maybe get ourselves in a position where i feel really comfortable with building because i have nails right i have plenty of nails back at the house um yeah maybe we build ourselves like a bookshelf a table or maybe we go get a table Ooh, maybe we go get a table we go get some furniture so we'll wait on the building part. I do still want to organize our spot. Um, hmm. What? Maybe that, that's what we're going to do. Keep a lookout for furniture that we're going to like. We have been turning a construction site trailer into a small trailer home. I haven't been in this building and I see a couch up there. We're going to go inside here and just take a look. No? No? Sounds like a person inspired by Ikea. Yeah, that's fair. But I mean, you know, we've, we've survived a long time in the zombie apocalypse at this point, right? So I think it is time to start feeling like a person. Um, and feeling like a person really means, you know, making your space and being comfortable in it. There is a small refrigerator here. Is that a small refrigerator? It is. How heavy is it? It's twin. I think it's right. Let me see. It's a mini fridge, just 10 encumbrance. I actually like the idea of maybe picking up that mini fridge and bringing it back to the spot because our big refrigerator doesn't really make much sense in our current domicile. But um, let's get safe before I do too much else. I am not really sure if there are zombies in this building. I feel like out of all the time that we've gone past this building, there should be no zombies here anymore. If there were, they should have cleared out a long time ago. I didn't realize there were bookshelves in this building. Huh. Well, luckily for me, I didn't need any of this stuff. There's a tailoring level one in here. Maybe I should take that. I know I haven't read any of the tailoring books, so I will take that with me. Do you have water? I should have thought of that before. There are definitely going to be water coolers around. Someone sitting in big seat when you win. Okay, yeah. There's lots of water still available. That's good to know. I don't like 
these office cabinets. And you're right, I didn't get any food. Maybe I should just eat the chips. Right out of the vending machine. There we go. Okay. I should have taken a true account of... Oh, there it is. Man, this is an awesome look at the office. You had a mini fridge. You had a small... Like, this, this is great. I love it. I dig it. Metalworking level one. Oh, my goodness. There was a electronics magazine sitting here this whole time. If we had just walked in this building. Oh, that's crazy. How are we on our weight? I think we're 88 kilos. Um, 88 kilos. Oh, that's good to know, at least. Uh, I'm not feeling like taking this now that I think about it. I was going to take these couches, but it doesn't really make any sense. We have the bed in the far corner, right? Um, so maybe instead of a couch set up, we should be looking for, a, I said it before, we should be looking for a dining table that we like with chairs to go along with it. Oh, figure out where exactly we put that dining situation at. But hmm, maybe we should go over to the diner. That's what we're going to do. And I didn't have plans for these type of things because I will be 100% honest now. I didn't think we'd make it this far. <laughs> After our last few situations, I really thought we would die a few more times before we got the run. But I mean, this is our third attempt um, at technically, you know, daring streams to make it our 100 days, and we've done really well here. Wasn't there a good table next to that quick mark? Maybe. I remember there's this dining facility here that I'm thinking of at the moment. I was going to take a look at. I don't remember the color coding. There are zombies in here. Hi. Well, you get to be the first on stream tonight. Thank you for offering some content. Okay. I don't think these are the greatest looking things in the world. I don't f care for the blue. I think that's my biggest problem here. But, huh, maybe I take the small table, pick up the chairs. So, we, oh, wait. I can pick up these tiles. Okay, so these tiles I can pick up with a hammer. These tiles I need to pick up with a crowbar. That's weird. Do I want orange? I don't want orange. I do want this tiling. Huh. Didn't hear anything when you hit the zombie. Let's fix the sound then. Let's take a look. Uh, output. Swap here. Swap here. Yes, the tiles don't match the current apartment, which is definitely true. Um, with that in mind, what that means is I'd be replacing all of the tile or flooring in the place by the time we got done, um, which is kind of the plan, you know, I don't know how I feel about the white. Can you hear the music at least now? But yeah, I'm going to get the crowbar. Um, I do hear music in my ear, so I just want to know if you hear music at this point. Yes, hear the game using now. Sweet. All right. So we're going to run back to the spot real quick. Grab the cover bar out of the front seat. I have to remember it's there. I'm going to swap it with the current wood axe I have in my bag. And then we will pick up a couple of things. I'm thinking about this. I don't know how it's going to look, but I feel like I can move the car around. I mean, I don't, I've been trying to be really conservative with the gas, and I, I still feel like that's the way to do it. Um, there's no reason to get super comfortable <laughs> when things are going well. You never know when it's going to go bad, right? So, uh, all right, we're swapping real quick. We're putting the wood axe onto the seat, and then we will grab a crowbar. That's the plan. Yes, the fog went away very quickly. We're just going to call it the morning dew. You know, sometimes that's just how things happen, right? I'm going to do the walk and speed up trick. No, that's pause. Uh, 
All right, let's see. Make sure there's nobody around here that I wasn't thinking about. And then we do the pickup operation. So there is a 22.5 chance of breaking these towels and they're just brown tiles. Did I pick it up? I did pick it up, sweet. Sticking into the bag, we're all set. So these brown tiles are gonna go into the kitchen. That's what I'm thinking now. Super heavy. They are super heavy. And then we'll just take what we have back. We are a little heavy. I do need to start working on weight management. There are just things I don't need to carry around with me, and I acknowledge that, but it is hard for me sometimes not to. Would it ever get so hot in the game that you would need to install an AC or get a fan? Um, yes and no. So the game does get you know hot, and depending on different factors for your character, if they're going to matter. Um, what being hot means you're going to burn more calories you'll drink more water it affects you know a lot of different resources associated with it if you're hot during the winter for example because you have too many layers it can lead to you getting moist because you're sweating and then also lead to a cold you know there's a list of things that come along with it um i don't have to deal with some of those factors because we're an outdoorsman so i won't die from overheating and i won't die from cold like i won't catch a cold However, I can still have the effect of drinking a bunch of my water because it's hot. You know, those are things that will still occur for my character. So consequences for all actions is kind of what I'm getting at there. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Back to the spot. We'll drop the tiles first. So we place the tile. disco all right so what i'm thinking is these these tiles here will be the tile that i just got right um and then as we move down oh i didn't think of that hang on can i place on top of what we have here i'm curious can i place this down no i'd have to first pick you up which kind of sucks before I could place the brown towel. Yep, okay. Oh, can I drop what I had just picked up? No, 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 no. What am I doing? Put you here. This is only three so big brain that can go into the trash because we won't use the white smooth tiles we will pick up you that's place we will pick up you and you can i just pick it up under the refrigerator that'd be cool sweet be great if these would just break so i wouldn't have to keep picking them up and i'm crushing myself oh there's one breaking <laughs> that sound is intense okay uh drop the towels that i can before i crush to death delete those yes and then get rid of the other two delete those yes perfect i am going to drop one of these machetes because i'm overly prepared for battle put this one on my back put this here hammer goes in the bag too please scissors go in the bag too screwdriver goes in the bag things i don't need to keep on my person at all times there we go well don't need to keep on my tool belt. I'm going to pick these up again. Uh, 
are. Pick you up. Yay, break. Please break. It's perfect to these white tiles break. Could the crowbar break during this? I don't know. I've never had that happen. So um, that's an interesting thing to put into the universe. And if it happens, I would be mad at you. <laughs> okay. So this is our official kitchen area. And we'll be dropping all of our towels here when we get them. So we do this. Speed it up. Delete. Yes. Do this. And uh, we delete. Okay. Do I have any more brown towels with me? Yep, I have three. And we smack them down. That's me. I mean, again, you put it into the universe of this being a possibility because one, I didn't think about it. And two, I didn't speak it into existence. So we're going to say you did. <laughs> again, if this happens, I am now thinking that I should make a design. I should do the brown on the outside and then like the center ones be that random orange color. I don't know. We're going to get to it. I need food. I, need, well, I don't need food, but I feel like I should eat something. Let's forage while we walk. What is that? Is that a flight case? What? What's inside of it? Nothing. It's just the case itself. But that's interesting. And now we're done. You know, thinking about it. Where am I right now? I could. What's the case? It's just a case. Like it's something that you could carry in your left hand. It's more storage. Um, there. So it's one of those type of cases where if you had a long instrument or a weapon, you know, that was specifically designed to whatever you want to call it. It's called a flight case in this, in the game. Uh, so it's one of those things that's kind of cool. If you're into that kind of thing, we're not, but we picked it up anyway. I don't recall clearing this building out. I recall the mass amount of zombies that came at us from here, but I don't recall actually clearing this building because we never went upstairs. Hmm. Hello? I feel like anything that would have happened should have happened. Yeah, these doors are all busted down and whatnot. Another bookcase that had stuff in it. Like, I wish I would have just been more thorough coming through here. There is an alarm going off here. If I can find it, I can stop that. Must be inside of here. Which one of them is it? No. Uh, how do I make it stop? Stop a lot. Thank you. Kill it. Go back. Now oh, we can definitely fill our water bottle while we're here. Painkillers if we need them, which we don't. We had a flute. That's nice. So this was definitely a survivor situation. They had, you know, lots of things packed in here. Oh, uh, shovel, baseball bat, hunting knife. Come back to it. There's no reason for me to pick it up right now. Peanut butter, jelly tot. Oh, tea bag. Never hurts to keep that. I'll grab the non perishables. No, nothing in here. Ooh, there's hot sauce. No reason not to grab the hot sauce. Everything else is bad for us. 
Oh, uh, maybe I check real quick again. I thought there were some canned items that we saw. There it is. Fruit cocktail. We'll open the fruit cocktail and eat it. I mentioned before that I prefer to be as what fresh food eating as possible, but um, at the moment we are not going to be foraging for food while we also try to build our base up. So, tea have special properties in game? Not really. Um, you know, obviously, you can make tea, which is nice. It's kind of one of those features if maybe you just have. Um, What's the word I'm going to use? Cups and you don't have bowls, you could still, you know, get something out of it. You can make coffee, which would give you more energy, which means you would stay up during the day. Um, those things do affect your gameplay. But as far as like specifically special properties, I don't believe so, no. But if I end up with, you know, anyone who is a super veteran who could tell me otherwise, that'd be awesome. All right, well, since we're here, oh my goodness. There's a machete, a hunting knife. Uh, oh, man, these machetes are just calling to me. I'm not I'm not going to pass it up. I'm going to pick it up. Yep. That's basically what I'm saying. Yes. Um, if you have coffee, it will help you stay up. If you have tea, I do not believe it has that same effect. No. All right, let's work on our electrical scale. I remember we need it to be electrical level five in order to make the solar panel parts, if I remember correctly. Um, let's take a look at that. Solar. And we take a look at it. Yep, so um, we're at three. We need it to be five in order to make the actual solar panel pieces. But if you have all the pieces that you need, you can make the solar panels themselves. So good and bad, right? All right, we're good. We're good, we're good. Machetes are heavy. I didn't just notice that. Can this lamp be disassembled as well? I'm curious. I don't think so. Nah, I can't. Okay, we're up. I'm not going to take the time to disassemble the TVs. I feel like the TVs never really give me a lot of experience. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll get out of here. I did that for no specific reason but <laughs> let's see if we can grab a couple more tiles before we call the day and then we'll head back to base i love base building when i actually get into it i feel like i don't need to be carrying this book right now so we'll drop it <laughs> just to give us some space can he get night vision shades there are, I think a, there's a mod for night vision stuff, actually. So I don't know if the base game has any, if I think about it, honestly. Oh, I didn't make a count of how many I already have. Oh. Um, down so i should have done that before we left it's with this now not putting these directly in my bag i just noticed that which i guess makes kind of sense all right probably should keep on yep i filled up the storage let's head on back So even though he's been more in the dark vision. No. Like, that type of adaptability would be interesting, I guess. Oh, but it's not, not a progression style in this game, no. The only real progression that you get, the difference between day one and day, like, 90, is how much stress you get around zombies, so... Other than that, you have to gain skills, but you know, being able to acclimate to the nighttime more and be able to see more, nah, that's not there. Interesting thought, though. Interesting thought. All right, 
let's put the tiles down. Speed that up. Place. Ah, oh, man. So I need one more, and then, yeah, I think I'll figure out what to do there. Um, it's a little late, though. I should, it's not just a little late. It's very late. <laughs> Let's go ahead and think about what, our, what we're eating tonight. So I think I pushed them just a bit. I'm not making that. Could make cake. No, I'm not making cake. Remember, we still got to lose some weight. We are still losing weight, so... We will stick the peanut butter here. Oh, I got no space here. That's right. So we put the chocolate, the crackers, the hot sauce, and uh, meh. Where are you? What else? Peanut butter. There it is. Away. I don't need to carry the wood glue, so I'm not going to. Put that in there, put that in there. We got to keep the machete, keep the crowbar with me for now. Put the screwdriver in the bag too. And I think we're good. So that's organization taken care of. Let's again get back to what we're eating for the night. I don't know, maybe it's just pancakes. <laughs> maybe it's pancakes for dinner. I can also make bread, I think. Yeah, I've still got some yeast. So if I made some bread. There we go. And then after making our bread. Yeah, we're going to make bread. So. <laughs> oh, let's add. I don't know. Maybe I just make the bread straight and then add afterwards. Or I can make chocolate bread. Yes. Add some chocolate to it. Now I have chocolate bread. And then uh, chocolate bread with uh, some fruit jam. And now we have some awesome bread. Probably high calorie, honestly, but we need to get it cooked. Nutella on toast, yeah, that's a great thought. And then we light the fire. Okay, while that goes, let's take a look around. So we do have some gas, and I remember if we put gas in the generator, it's around 80%. Um, this is going to be an area to develop, if I recall. I don't know what I'm going to build here at some point. You know, the frame is something I don't think you can do anything about. Like, it's part of the space. So, we're going to use the frame, so that way it, you know, doesn't clip or anything like that. And make it into something. Maybe I'll make an actual house <laughs> right here. Or I can make a garage for the car and or other vehicles that we find. Chocolate bread is almost done after all that walking. So we go from 45 to 63 hungry, which is great. And my cooking will go. This is why we cook. This is why we cook. You could slice it. But it won't call itself chocolate bread anymore after that. It just becomes bread slices. Um, actually, it's still not a bad idea, though. So we'll slice it. It'll just help us stay honest. And then we eat a slice of chocolate Nutella bread. <laughs> I don't think you say chocolate Nutella. I think you just say Nutella. Anyway. Uh, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Pop the hammer in the bag. Let's go ahead and drop the, the bag. And since we're not doing a whole bunch of fighting currently, we will get in our squats. Ooh. Burn those calories. Every day is leg day. And we sleep.
have it have bread in two weeks ish. I see how that can be an experience in itself. Okay, let's uh, let's see. I need one brown tile to go over here, and then four tiles that go in the center. We have the crowbar, so we're all set, and we have the bread on us. No point in putting the bread in the refrigerator because I don't have refrigeration going at the moment. We're at 87 kilos. We're almost there. We might make it to normal weight by the end of the night. And that's something to be good, uh, happy about. And I mentioned before the best times to forage is early in the morning and late in the afternoon. So one, because notice how large my radius is. The radius is based on you know how tired or exhausted you are, uh, time of day, weather, etc. Like those things do matter, but this is the most rested my character will be, which means it's a great time for us to do some foraging, even if it is just stones. And actually, as I think about that, I will go south real quick, do my foraging run, and then come back and get the rest of what we want. If we run into zombies, we're we're okay. Not worried about that. Um, before you, well, before anybody else says it to me, you can pick up things like these uh, flowers and take them back to base. If you notice, and I'm going to pause this while we're sitting here, right? If you notice that the skill requirements is farming, I need farming level one, a garden, a fork, hoe, so on and so forth, blah. And because my skill is so low, I have a 75% chance of destroying these flowers. The same thing is true for the bush, for example. If you have the skills in farming, you can pick up the vegetation, the decorative veg vegetation that's around. So that's actually really cool. So you can make flower, well, set up your flowers in various different areas. But in order to do that effectively and efficiently without destroying them, you need to get your farming skill up. So... If I want to do that in the future, I still have to do some farming, even if I don't want to so like I don't want to live off a farm and be farming my food. I wanted to forage it for this character. That also means that I can't pick up these flowers unless I find a way to train my farming skill. So something to know if you didn't already. Um we're gonna pick up the pace with speed walking. I remember killing a lot of zombies through here, but I don't remember really feeling like it cleared the entire area oh acorns yes 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 so for those of you who don't know the foods that you can find in foraging acorns uh rose hip and sunflower seeds are some of the highest calories and fats that you'll find out there so love when you find some acorns Jensen is one of my favorite plants. Probably wants to take a lot more in that area. Yes, definitely can use some uh, tidying. And it's only going to get worse. <laughs> you remember I said the forging, uh, the, I just, it's not forging. Oh, the erosion system kicks in. Oh, it's poison mushroom. That's unfortunate. But in reality, I did just pick up pretty much a day's worth of food. Oh man, is that chives? Awesome. I don't want crickets or grasshoppers. I'm not going to be eating insects, even though they're good for my foraging experience. Strawberries. Look at that. And I just got some strawberry seeds. If someone's planning to eat meat, uh, would they find meat in houses? So, no. Like, after a certain point, you won't find fresh meat anymore. The only real fresh meat you're going to find is if you do fishing. Um, that would be the way to get meat after a certain point. Insects. Um, yeah, you know, insects. eating insects is definitely not a vegan way of life. But if you want to call it a meat source, it technically is. Um, it's not a protein source that people would think of. And it doesn't have cholesterol, so... It's kind of one of those, you know, weird conversations to have when you get into it. But I've done a lot of fortune, like just in this short period of time. And that's because, one, my skill is high, yes. And then, two, because of the time of day. You know, you, you get better spawns uh, the more rested you are and the earlier the day it is. Because a lot of these things aren't trampled or eaten by animals and so on and so forth. I don't know all the reasoning they have behind it, but that's just the way it was designed. That's the code.
Okay, so we've got food and a fair amount of it. So let's go ahead and head back over to the restaurant. We will get some more of the tiles and then start uh, packing up our setup. Ooh, always love to get branches when I find them because that works towards my axis. If this was a house I liked, then we would use their farm bed over there because it would just be nice. But uh, that's not going to work. And I say that because I can't put, what's going to call it, solar panels on top of this house. Um, I can put them on the side, but then I couldn't put water rain collectors on top as well, which means I'd have to do some finagling with my water situation. And I, that's not fun to me. I do like having flat roofs. So I just got exhausted from all that foraging. So I got to really be mindful of that. There you go. There are a couple of zombies around. Oh, look at that. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's a massive group, but this tree line is messing me up, so. Let's see how it goes. Oh, man, I love the machete. You know, I've never really fought with machetes before because they're, you know, not easy to find. But because this run has made it as long as it has, the machete might be my favorite weapon. <laughs> it might be. Is there any more? Or are we good? I think we're good. All right, and there's the restaurant. I feel like I should eat a berry while we walk. <laughs> Machete is, some, is the weapon of some kind of Yes, indeed. Um, and it's a reliable weapon to use, you know, its design is solid across the board. Maybe not the weapon of war that people think of, but it's definitely a weapon of choice. Let's uh, take a quick rest. I saw a zombie outside. I am going to step out there in a moment and just greet the uh, loiterer. So long as he doesn't have much friends, I'll take care of it. Excuse me. What? Oh, I'm officer. Yes, please. No, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't really care for nightsticks, so I won't be using that. Let's get back inside and uh, take a look. So we pick up. I'm not picking up. I just need one brown one. I don't know how I feel about the orange tiling at this point, so I'm gonna leave the orange. Ah, oh, it broke. Crap. <laughs> Maybe I was the loiter. No, I was definitely the trespasser in this case. But trespassing really doesn't matter too much during a zombie apocalypse. There it goes. Yeah, I don't I don't really care for the orange either, so I'm not digging that as an option. And I should not have eaten that berry before. I forgot we had our bread slices. Well, that'd be new. So this is another like flower bed setup that I'd like to take. Huh. How do we feel about these stones? I can't pick them up anyway. Okay. No, never mind. No, because we have the brown tile internally. What do you got in here? Hmm, I don't mind this. Maybe this works. One. Nope, I broke. I got one. Two. Still two. I'm in pain because my legs after the squats, no concern. Three. Come on. Four. Sweet. Look at that. So we've got yellow towel now. Oh man, this is all packed up. I'm going to be pretty heavy heading back. Okay. We'll just walk down the center of town and remember all the death and destruction that we've caused coming through here and existing. <laughs> um, 
as zombies kept coming for us. Oh, and it's raining. Get ourselves a shower in. Ooh, we are burnt out. Ugh, those tiles are no joke, and our legs are on fire after our exercise. Man, look at that. We also might turn on the power. I think that we will use some of our power just because, you know, we'll do it for aesthetics. Uh -oh. So let's go ahead and turn you on. Battery pack, please turn on. Sweet. We will stick our food in here with our rotten food. <laughs> here we go. And then we'll start slapping things down. What are you? Yellow towel. I agree to see the tiles more. I don't know how I feel about what I just did, but I'm going to live with it for now. We can obviously change it in the future. So it's still better than just white. And that's really what I wanted to get rid of. Um, I'm going to be doing something with this over here. Even if it is just finding carpet, I'm still going to change the rest of that straight white. Not great on the eyes. Okay. Brown towel goes down. And we're all set. We have a kitchen ish. I feel like I should get an appliance to go over here at some point. I don't really think it's a big deal that I put the battery pack here, but it was functional because if I put it anywhere else, I'd be powering other pieces of this uh, motel over there. I'd also like to be able to put a window on this side, I feel like. But from a safety perspective, it makes sense that we don't. Okay, so let's not worry about it. Let's not think about it. Kitchen is good to go. I should take a look and see furniture. Let's click higher. Carpentry. Furniture. Bookshelves. Shelvings. Tables. Yeah, we can make a fair amount of stuff. Or we can go find an apartment and grab things. And that's maybe what we do. Okay, uh, how tired are we? Let's let's take a moment, just take a breath. Why are we still heavy? I mean, I got, I got less. Oh, oh yeah. Let me stick the branch and chip stones in here. Can it, oh, this container is full. Seriously, goodness. Okay, let's stick that down real quick. I mentioned before, let's see, jar. I can make jars of things. So broccoli, cabbage, carrots, eggplants, leek, potato, radishes, tomatoes, etc. And then you can open those jars. What I'm thinking about doing is foraging and finding things like these guys and then jarring them. So that way they last longer without refrigeration. Um, Let's go ahead and rest our bodies just until we're not exerting anymore. The supermarket, yes, the supermarket we do have, but the supermarket doesn't have fresh food. So, um, the supermarket has spoiled food at this point, and anything you know packed up, which is something we're gonna, but I'd still like us to find more fresh items at the moment. Um, again. I'm being nitpicky. I know that. <laughs> but still, it's kind of nice when you're eating fresh food instead of processed food. Especially when you have a character who's trying to lose weight. Let's just be honest about it, right? It is better for me to eat those berries than it is to eat a pancake. <laughs> Number of vegetables I had. Yes. Oh, I definitely get there. So, in the apartment. Okay, so foraging in the rain is actually a thing. If, ooh, maybe I've got the hand axe with me. Uh, is it the same one that's on my belt right now? I think it is. Yeah, okay. Okay. I recall next to the Gigamark, there was a thing. I said there was something on my map. It was yellow 
We never really checked out. This window's broken. Oh. Gigamart might have people inside it. I'm going to remember that. Need to remember that. What is over here? I said that there was a yellow building on the map over here that I never looked at. Hi. I saw you. A little creeper. What does that say? It's an interesting sign. It says Twiggies. Oh! This is Twiggies. Okay, so... Obviously, you know, I exist in the world and I do watch things on YouTube. I have never been to Twiggies before. So I've heard of it from other YouTubers and whatnot. Um, and I knew of it being a bar, but I've actually never been to Twiggies. So this is my first time being to the iconic safe house known as Twiggies. Funny enough, that also means that I know how close I am to a gun store. Yes, guns and ammo over there. Which, oh, that sucks if I think about it. I have been right next to Twiggy's and the gun store this whole time. Makes you think of Twinkies. Yeah, I, got it. I get that. This whole time, I've been right here next to the gun store and Twiggy's, and I have a sledgehammer, so I'd be able to break into this gun store, too. That is insane. Oh, man. And again, this is just one of those scenarios where I don't play in West Point. Like, I never play like this. So, to have made it, one, this long, two, uh, you know, to be in a, in a town that I never spawn in, I think... I mean, I'll give myself, you know, some uh, <laughs> some grace on this one, but I still feel like an idiot to have had the had the gun store right here this whole time, been next to Twiggies this whole time, and had never been. Yeah. Okay, so I need to bring in the sledgehammer if we really want to get in there. Oh, um, now I say that I'm not going to use guns. Like not anytime soon. I need a lot of shotgun shells to feel comfortable using guns and working on that skill. What I am gonna do is maybe forage. Okay, so if, if you don't know, uh, wild plants, which is what I just switched to, have a higher chance of being found during the rain. So a park ranger in the rain with a um, the outdoorsman trait can essentially forage for the best possible loot chances with wild plants during the rain in the daytime. At nighttime, it goes up, but it's harder to see at night. So unless you have a flashlight with you and you're willing to deal with that, um, you know, it's not always the best idea. So things like that do exist in the game in terms of, uh, what is it they say, loot chances, spawn chances, I don't know. Oh, wait. So that also means that I walked right by this. Goodness gracious. So if you recall back in our first two episodes, our first two stream nights, we had to walk across this riverbank that's back here to make it to the train station on the outside of town and then walked into town. So at the time, there was a lot of zombies that were here uh, in the field. But if I keep walking north here, I'm going to see the waterfront area. So I walked right by all of this. Oh man, that that super sucks. That now I know where I am, and how much you know access to things I potentially lost. And I need to check something. I'm gonna pause. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, I'm still good. Ah, we do that. We do this. We do this. Yeah, I'm pause. It was raining when I came through here too. That's true. Yes. So this forest line. Should be, and there's the water. Let me turn off foraging just for the video so you can see the water line right there. So I walked right past the gun shop and Twiggies when on our first, second day coming through here just because, you know, we were in such a weird position. Is that a rubber ducky? It's a rubber ducky. I'm not going to pick it up. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Skills. My foraging is almost level nine. That's great, though. Uh, I see another zombie over here. I see a couple of zombies over here, actually. Uh, didn't pick up any food. Definitely found junk. 
if we were in a deeper forest, then we could have gotten better loot droughts, but it is what it is. How did you hear me with all this rainfall? You got spidey senses? Like, come on now. Here we go. Stick, stick, stick. No. Yes. Getting heavy, not great. We will. Oh, we already ate our bread? Oh, that sucks. Alright. Let's go back over to the Twiggies real quick. Is that a medical metal? Yeah. Maybe you would have found a bunch of zombies here. Definitely true. I could have walked into still a large group of zombies and had to fight through that. Same thing with the gun store. Like that was day one, day two. The group that I just killed at the the gun store wouldn't have been, you know, a feasible option for us at the time. So it's still good, I guess, that we didn't come through here. But I could have known, you know, it would have been nice to know <laughs> that I was sitting next to a gun store. Maybe our whole experience would have been different. I could have run, you know, in here, gotten a shotgun and been blasting and had a whole different experience. Uh, there's a list of possibilities just knowing that this is here. Yeah. That's how I feel about it at the moment. Like, I feel like I missed out on potential... Oh, other possibilities if I had just known it was here. We stick some things in the bag. Not carrying around. I shouldn't be carrying around this. In another universe it happened, yes. And also in another universe we'd be dead. <laughs> so, you know, fair is fair and I get that. Are you open? No. Can I open the window? Yes. No zombies yet. So, Twiggies is, is definitely a bar. Like, let's just be honest about it, right? Um, so, what do I really expect to find in here? Nothing. A lot of people apparently like Twiggies simply because you can go into the second story, knock out the stairs, and then you have, you know, infinite safety. Um, without stairs, zombies can't do anything. But if you have set up your rope ladder, I think that's what we call it. You could escape to the bottom floors without, you know, zombies being able to climb up. So it's a way for you to fight into Riverside, I said Riverside, West Point, without having the danger of zombies killing you. But I don't play it like that. That's super cheesy in my personal opinion. <laughs> yeah, lots of beer and opportunities for fire or getting lit, you know, if that's your play style. But not really anything here that I'm going to personally be using. Cheese is not vegan. Definitely true. But various different alcohols are. Not all, but various different alcohols are. There is a pool table. Yes. Ooh. I didn't realize there was an arcade machine up here. Darts. Pull Q. Yeah, of course you have these things. All right, well, I can disassemble. I thought I could disassemble the... I can't disassemble this. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, man, that sucks. I thought I'd be able to disassemble the arcade machine and get, you know, more electronic skills. But hey... For a first time, you know, individual to find Twiggies, I'll take it. Why not? As far as loot is concerned, and as far as, uh, you know, what's the word for it? A productive trip? I'm going to say productive, you know. I can get nothing out of this. Like, there's no real reason for me to come over here. But now I know what's here. Now I know what's here. Pretty plain bar. Um, I think why people like this bar or why it stands out is it has a sign. <laughs> oh, it has its own sign. And I've noticed that a lot of the places don't. Ooh, this car had keys. 
there's no gas in it, but I have another car with keys. So maybe if I decide to try to put that together later, I can. Just good to know. Well, Twiggies, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary individuals, we had found Twiggies. All right. It's a six o'clock. Let's go ahead and head back. Um, to be fair, that means we've rounded out the very least the map on this side. Oh goodness, we'll, we'll run it out. We'll burn some more calories because I think we're pretty good on being safe. I shouldn't say that. Let me rephrase it. We look good on this area. It feels safe. <laughs> and I haven't run down or come down this road since I first walked into town. So maybe I give myself a chance to do that. Does the car have more storage than you have the car? No, it was the same car. So, well, no, it wasn't the same car. It was a hatchback. I don't think it had more storage, though. But that's a good question. Maybe I can come back and look. We'd still have to fix it up. It looked like the battery was shot on it. And. There is no gas in it, so. Uh, all right, we're on the outskirts of town, and this is how we originally walked in, and we've got zombies, yeah, so. This was always a thought of mine. That zombies would migrate into town from this way. It never happened, which is interesting to me, though, so. Oh, oh! Oh my goodness! Did I, I was messed up everything from one bad swing goodness gracious die all right me and this whole missing swings like i gotta do something about myself Everything worked out. You can breathe for a moment. I don't know why I'm walking out of town at the moment. I feel like I'm just walking and I know that I should just turn around, but I'm not going to. I feel like there's something that I'm supposed to see. My, my body, my heart, my zomboid experience is telling me to keep going this direction for a second. Oh, hi. Where the hell did y'all come from? Can't just run up on people like that. That's messed up. Oh, I saw somebody with a spear in their belly. I wanted to just take a look at your spear. So give me a moment, please. Don't judge me. It's just a spear with a butter knife. It's not good enough. All right, we're good. Do I have food on me? I can't remember. I have the ginseng, which is probably a thing. Let's eat the ginseng. Like I said, I, I know I'm walking towards something. I just don't know why. There is a building right here. What is this building? So my memory is coming back to me slightly from when we came through here, because I remember we came past that train area, and I was like, ooh, a small locomotive. Um, you know, people could potentially base out there, but it's not really the safest space. I remembered that there was a building here. I don't know what this building is, and I'm curious. So if I walk to the front, that's a group. I don't want to fight that. I don't want to fight that. Um, yeah, don't don't give them your attention. Just I'm I'm a fly on the wall. I have the mist. I blend in with the wind. Ah, it's a car shop. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah. You don't see me. You don't hear me. Just listen to the sounds of the rain as it takes you into the next place. Dream your best dream. Hello, sir. I'm sorry.
why couldn't you just go down one shot? <laughs> All right, so um, unfortunately enough, this building was not what I thought it was. It is a car shop, and I don't need to go into another automotive dealership. I know those don't have anything for me. I was hoping that it was some type of storage, to be honest with you. Um, if it was another storage spot, there was a chance that we'd find more electronic parts. Yeah, I said electronic, the solar panel parts, but you know, and to incorporate sneak attack. There is a sneak attack in game. You can only do it with knives. So the machete is considered a um, long blade. So I would need to use a short blade weapon in order to do that. So it can't be the meat cleaver. The meat cleaver, I think, is the only short blade that can't do the sneak attack. You have to use a knife. So if I had switched to the um, hunting knife, I could have done a snake attack, and it's an instant kill. So yeah, that would have worked. But I was kind of hoping my skills with our machete would have been high enough for me to one-shot him, and it would just look cool. Like, yeah, I walk up on somebody, hatchet, dead. But that's not what happened. It just, I wasn't lucky. <laughs> oh, I guess it's easy way to say it, you know. It's like when you're playing XCOM and you're standing right in front of the person you're trying to shoot and you still miss. It's like, come on, 98% and you still lose. Alright. Nobody else. We're good. So. It's also possible that I did all that just craving violence and I made it an excuse and... I can own that if that's how we feel about it, but you know, what can you do? Gaining skills and being alive, those are things that matter. Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright, so this is a good indicator of why, like, at night is really hard to forge. Not to mention when you're tired, uh, when you get exhausted, like, all of your moodles will work against you when it comes to foraging. So best time of the day to forage is in the middle of the day. In the middle of the day, in the morning when you get up. All right, so we're here, we're back. Let's make some fruit salad. I've got a whole bunch of berries and we're still trying to lose some weight. So we will pack in the fruit salad. Now, take a look at this. If you're not aware, Rotten food. When you hit cooking level 7, you can use one of your rotten foods. So this is actually one of the, the things that, you know, meat eaters can do. If later down the line, when you are playing your character and whatnot, and you want to add meat, you can take said rotten meat that has been rotten for years in game. If you're level 7 cooking or higher, and you can use it in your recipe. So now you can still eat your meats, right? You can only use one of those rotten items um per item i guess you would say so it's small trace amounts but it's a way <laughs> it is a way i don't know why you know the devs decided to code it that way but they did so there you go meaning even rotten food has you know uh its usage i'm actually not gonna eat this yet i just looked at something so this is 58 hunger satisfied it's not as ca uh, calorie dense as it should be for that level of hunger but because it does make us full we're going to use that after we do our workout job exercise get those squats and if we take a look at our skills you know our fitness skill still needs to get up you know and that's why we're doing these things all right went as long as we could we're exhausted we eat our food real quick we're nice and full we put our bag on our backs so we're ready for anything should anything happen and we go to sleep okay so violence craving is over same thing with like moseying about i'm not going to i don't think i'll forge let me take a look at my food situation i just ate all those berries i know that but let's Yeah, you can definitely eat the canned meat. So I've got acorns. Acorns you can only cook in a pot. So uh, there's no recipe that would be used in a bowl. But if I make a soup, for example, then I can use that. So, oh, I forgot I had an onion. Let me slice those real quick. All right, let's stick them in here. Uh, 
Let's, let's go for the berries. There's not a lot of berries. So, we'll make a fruit salad again real quick. Nice and filling fruit salad. And we'll take that with us. I also, did I grab the acorns or I left them? I left them. We'll take the acorns with us as well. I'm not going to pick up tiles this time around. We're going to go out and see what else did I want to do. The cabinets. That's what I wanted. Let's go find an apartment um, or a house that has nice looking cabinets that we can bring back and then place in our own spot. And we're talking about like kitchen overhang cabinets. I don't want anything ridiculous. Um, so we'll do a walk to you. Let's go inside of some of these buildings that we haven't been inside of, like this one here. So the second floor probably has um, rental, rental space, which is kind of where the zombies were pouring in at us from. And that's what we're looking for. This is not what I thought it is. It's an office? Oh, man. That makes a little more sense if it's an office. Yeah, this is definitely just a straight office space. Oh, I thought you might have been apartment. Okay. That's You know, where else could I go? I haven't been inside a city hall. I don't plan to. Oh, that's right. There were some um, houses over here. I remember. We did some fighting with this direction, but... Ah, okay. I forgot there was Spiffles over here, too. Hello. You guys decided to fill in this space? I'm okay with that. Can I have you clear out, though? Please go home. You really should, like, change your makeup, man. It's not working for you. I don't know what's in your neck, but I don't believe that's supposed to be there. Nice glasses, lady. You look like you're a fresh zombie. Hey, you didn't have anything on you. That was good, though. It's just a screwdriver in your neck. Okay. Where did all y'all come from? I cleared this area. You know what? I like the Spiffo's color. Ooh, maybe that's the play. I'm coming back for you. Hello. Goodbye. You two. You three? Might as well seal the deal over here, too. I've already checked all these cars. I know that, so. Ugh. There it is. Okay, so. Now that I think about it, you know, while I'm looking at this, right? I could pick up the Spiffo's, like, table and chairs. Maybe not the chairs. Maybe I'd do the booths and bring them back. But the booths are so large. I'd have to move around the space, like put the, yeah, I don't want to put the refrigerator in front of the window, though. That's interesting. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. All right, let's still get the cabinets. That's really what I came out here for. Focus. Focus. Don't get distracted. Goodness gracious. It's my problem. I am a window shopper. I am a window shopper. Um, so... Can you grab all of that? Yes. Well, I mean, I'd probably it would be super heavy while I'm carrying it, but I can definitely pick it up. Okay, so we went into some of these houses. And yeah, I remember all this fighting that we did. Goodness gracious. I don't recall if we went into all of these houses in my issue. So I don't know if some of them have... All right, we came in here. Sweet, there's no cabinet. All right. So I'm looking for any house. Actually, none of these houses would have cabinets facing this way. I need to be on houses over there. Okay, so. Hello. Goodbye. 
Say it again. You know, oh, there are a lot of you just hanging out here. This is not the area you're supposed to chill out. Nice shotgun, lady. Where is it? Oh, no. All right, it's just... Yeah, you know what? I'm not. Can I get the car and grab it? Yes, I could. And that's actually not a bad point, but... Like I said, I'm conserving my gas. Oh, so I need to be very clear about the things I want to grab. You know, I, I want to really focus uh, my attention. <laughs> I'm not doing that very well at the moment, <laughs> considering I'm just kind of like moseying about. Hey, there's a zombie there. Kill him, you know. Ooh, you saw me murder. Uh, I shouldn't use the word murder. Um, I sent, you know, some of your neighbors to the afterlife. Uh, let me send you there, too. Because this is purgatory. I'm sorry. If you get turned into a zombie during the zombie, zombie apocalypse and all you're doing is walking around eating brains, you're you're in purgatory. Right? Just to be honest about it. And when I turn into a zombie during a zombie apocalypse, please send me on my way. Nothing. Nothing. Hello? Ooh, I didn't mean to intrude, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. You and your friend? Partner? Whoever you might be? You know, I, again, I apologize. Yes, yeah, so this is a problem. When you have a kitchen that is on the wall, on the back wall like this, it's not going to give me overhanging, um, cabinets and I want overhanging cabinets but nice digs I mean they ain't managed your spot can I like disassemble your wall lamp at least I didn't really check the rest of the house I should have done that shouldn't I Nothing usable, that's fine. Didn't really expect to find anything usable, so. All right, let's see. Nothing. Not not checking the rest of the house. I don't really care. Hi, ooh, <laughs> I was not paying attention to that. Uh, there's a random car here. Pink house. Let's go inside the pink house. Why are y'all playing the music? Uh, I was seeing. Okay. Yeah, I definitely have not cleared out this neighborhood. Um, we did not come over here. I made it this far and then we turned around because we said nope. I remember now. Okay. Well let's uh let's let's make a change. Let's make that change. Let's get ourselves over here. I, I like the idea of this pink house. I'm hoping the kitchen is on the back side. And then from there, we're in a good spot. I'm making all that noise just to get up. And I just broke my machete! Machetes be repaired. They can be repaired by duct tape and adhesive. Duct tape does the best. We're going to stick the machete into the bag. I know we have lots of them, but uh, never hurts to keep them. And we're hungry. We don't believe in dying hungry. I didn't realize we built a tin strap, strap again. So something to think about. There we go. Nice and full. Oh 
mother. Oh. Uh. Uh. Okay. All right. Look. Look. I don't have the car with this, so I need to be... Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna act like you're not back there. Oh, I'm gonna act like you're not back there. Yeah. How many is that? How many is that? Yeah, where'd you come from? It's not as bad as it th as it looks. Do you have a, what is that? Oh! <laughs> can, can we leave? Can we leave? Should we leave? Should we leave? Uh, come get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. I am going to go out on a limb and still say that I probably still shouldn't stay here. Uh, <laughs> uh, alarms. Alarms. Go <laughs> bells your heart. I, yeah, this... This game will make you stop for a second. I ain't gonna lie about it. And you hear me over here grunting and making noises too, so. But if this axe goes, I don't really have. Any... Oh, I do have another hand axe on me. Well, let me take that out of the bag real quick. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is night. Alright. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so the neighborhood watch decided to come out and address the house alarm, and I respect that. I do. I love that you guys are so close, but mind your own business. Like, seriously. Oh, we do. Yes. Oh, no, we're getting tired. That's not good. Okay. You got a hunting knife. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, there's so many more. Goodness, I can call the whole neighborhood over. All right, I'll take more shots. Um, <laughs> leave your tired. <laughs> uh, why is there one single tile there? I feel weird about this. I'm gonna rest. I'm just gonna take a break, you know, uh, sit for a second. It never hurts. Uh, all right, let's speed up time just a bit. Be prepared to move a moment's notice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm clearly, you know, just being that guy tonight. I know that. Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay. Take a breath. So this is the other problem with Project Zombo. You get to a point where you're like, I got a groove going. And you don't, you know, listen to your instincts or your viewership who is telling you it's probably not a good idea to stay. Oh. Which is true. It's probably not a good idea to stay. There's another hiking bag. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Okay. And we got some duct tape. Actually, can I repair my machete now? It's a 50% repair versus... Yeah, okay. Let's repair the machete and get that back. 
Oh, I had another one in my backpack. I didn't even need to be using my axe right now. Look at that. Because I need it. How's my axe doing? My axe is still in great condition. What is my maintenance skill? Hold on. It's almost level four. No wonder. Okay. Machete back in hand. Oh, let's put away the other axe that I pulled out. Let's put away our duct tape as well. And we're good to go. Hello, neighborhood. Let's have some fun. Again, I, I, I know what's happening to me. I am craving violence. I have one of those days. And when you have one of those days where, you know, you just need to get it out, you start doing things. And I recognize that. And I should really clean up my act before it bites me in the butt. Hello. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> nice streaming. If you're interested, get more followers. You add me to Discord. Okay. Well, I appreciate the follow at the very least. I don't know if this is going to be a thing. Oh, this is a group. This is a group. Okay. Come, 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 come. One, two, three. Bring it some more. Four, five. All right, I'm back up, back up. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Oh, there it is. And there's a duffel bag there. I should feel like I should check. Uh, nothing in it. Okay. We've got too many hiking bags to be worried about duffel bags, so calling that out now. Um, there's still more zombies pouring into this area. Look at that. They really want to keep me from that pink house that really doesn't have anything I need. Why am I still here? I know why I'm still here. It's not just the craving violence part. I am moving towards something. And when you're moving towards something, it's just pulling you there that you have to keep going forward. And that's what we're doing at the moment. We keep moving forward. I hear banging on that house. That's okay. See, that's what I wanted the last time. I was smack a zombie. See, ooh. All right, all right. Well, do I just... Do I go over there? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 We're gonna make it. Move broken glass. This is all busted the hell up. Of course there's a zombie. Why are you naked? Do you break out of your bathroom? Yeah, you broke down your own bathroom door to get out. Uh, somebody heard. Empty cooking pot. I don't need it. I don't really need any of this stuff. Okay. All right, well, you got this. people can be distracted by windows. That's great. Down you go. Just one being taken out of a group is helpful. So, <laughs> yes, there you go. Murders and zombies along the way. I don't know, man. I mean, again, I feel like, you know, tonight is a, is a night. Yeah, let's take a look. We killed an additional 200 zombies already. And we didn't really fight the, the other day. So today we killed 200 zombies. <laughs> all, right, all right. All right. Oh. Be that person. We just took a rest on the bench while that other zombie tries to break down that window. And yeah. Are we at 1,500? No. We are at 1,417. 14, oh, 1,418. All right. So. Yeah. 1,419 uh, kills. So. Oh, that's right. Well, let me kill the zombie that just saw me before. Did they see me? I feel like you saw me. Oh, you got caught up on the tree line. Did 
did. Anybody else? I could start sneaking. I, mean, I don't really have to like draw as much attention to myself as I am. I just, again, I feel like I shouldn't leave. I know I shouldn't leave. There's there are things to do. None of you should be giving them away. I feel like I've got too many combat skills, uh, and I've gotten very comfortable fighting zombies that I should not run. I should find ways to fight and survive. So that's where, oh man. Uh, we don't have to go that direction. We can just go into this house, I guess. All right? Yeah, just make sure you don't fight that that direction. Okay. So my problem, though, is I am looking for a very specific loadout. I saw you. I saw you. You saw me. saw you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really worried, but like I said, it's not a house that I care about. What I care about is finding a house that has a kitchen set up that allows me to take their overhanging cabinets. That's what I want, because I want overhanging cabinets in my kitchen. And with those overhanging cabinets, I have more space for more unperishable food, all right? And that non-perishable food can stock up inside of my spot, but... Until I can find that over here hanging cabinet, or the ones that I want at least, uh, I'm kind of, ooh, did y'all move down here? Dude, dude, chill. La 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 la. la. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, y'all didn't see me. Uh, okay. <laughs> you need to find a manager to put the cameras in the one. Yeah, I, I, so. They're oh wait, huh? So I keep feeling like I should, I just need to be more thorough about checking these houses. I definitely do. Okay, okay. And there we are. All right. Just murdering people. Oh, we're getting hungry. Okay, well we should. If I listen to nothing else at all, I should listen to my tummy. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll walk it back. We'll walk it back. Goodness gracious. I do feel like this neighborhood is okay. I feel that way. Because there's blood, dry blood stains around here. So I fought through this already. So there should be no zombies here ish. Um, yeah. But why was I doing and again my, my brain is telling me that I should have kept going that direction at some point. So we're gonna come back around there. Oh no overhanging cabinet. So like this, this is boring. I don't want that. Not to mention the storage space you get out of this cabinet is only 10. Like it just takes up more space than I want it to to get very low. And so what can you do? Okay, let's head back. Um, walk to. Blah. Oh wait, 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 wait! I brought acorns. I brought acorns. I don't have to turn back. Yeah, I get to keep going. I forgot I brought the acorns. Yeah. Okay. Preparation is key. Let me uh, let me do this. We come up, we pause. I am right here. This is why, because this was the house. I remember now. We just fought through all of this, and let me you know stack up some axes because none of this matters anymore. Oh, uh, I didn't get in here. This is our spawn house. I was moving towards our spawn house just now. That's why I was like, yeah, there's, there's something here that keeps calling to me. It's where we spawned that's standing out to me. All right, let's do it. We're almost there. But it also means that that group is very likely the group that ran me out of town initially. <laughs> we use that terminology, right? I got ran out of my own spot and it was compromised by zombies at the time. Did we have cabinets in place? I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh oh. 
to save me at the moment, which would be great if it did. It also means I have the key. Oh, see, those are the zombies to the old spot. That is the spot. Oh, man. Hi. Yes. Daddy's home. Oh, man, it's completely overrun still, too. Can I, like, get some of your attention? Just one at a time. No reason to fight. Well, lots of reasons to fight, but no reason to put myself in a situation where I'm fighting constantly and not being able to manage my stamina. I don't need to let you jump over the fence, you know. I mean, the jump over the fence thing, it only just helps with how many swings I potentially have to do. But if y'all come at me like this, this is probably a bad idea. I need to move. Ooh, that was a great swing. Look at that. <laughs> it's worked a whole group. That's amazing. Mm, there's more than, than what I can see. All right. Let's see if we can get inside. If we get inside. We will uh, see. I don't have to go all the way in. The kitchen's right here. Hell, there's no cabinets. Uh, Y'all just pouring outside of my spot like that. Oh man, this house is all trash now. But this was the starter home. We made it all the way back to home. Oh, that's, that's such an experience. We didn't actually pack anything here at the time, but you know, we, this this was home, <laughs> right? This is where we spawned. I feel connected to this place. <laughs> uh, I feel like there are books. Yeah, we had magazines. Did we read these things? Yep, we read them. I didn't mess up, okay. <laughs> the long hair. Yes, it was before we got the hair, too. That's true. There's a plant. Uh, how, how heavy is the plant? Can I pick up the plant? Oh, I can't pick up the plant. I wish I could. That would be so cool to bring back. The plant that so survived 100 days along with us. What did I do here? I picked up these because there were shotguns here and guns. Yeah. Oh, remember home. Simba, remember who you are. Ah, oh, goodness. All right. Well, another piece of nostalgia for you. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I am actually mad. This house here looks pristine compared to my spot that got all busted up. Like, y'all didn't go to the house? Y'all really just sat there. I was like, where'd he go? We'll just stay here and wait for him to come back, George. Ooh, they had a nice painting in there, though. I feel like I should grab the painting. Oh, there's one overhead camp. I can just walk in. You just left your door alone. There's corn flour. <laughs> Is it a fake plant? Yes, fake plant. Uh... Corn flour, marshmallows, and sugar. I don't know what corn flour can do with this game, but yeah. can we just pick it up? It's 10 encumbrance. Okay, wait. Then maybe instead what we do is we go back to the house. See, there's only one cabinet though, and the color's wrong. Uh, am I being picky? I'm being picky. I know I'm being picky, but the color is wrong. <laughs> ah. All right. All right. All right. Can't you bake or fun? Well, I mean, it's flour. Yeah, you know, corn flour can be made into cornmeal, uh, corn bread. You know, there are various different things you can do with it. Sure. Nothing that stands out. Okay. Ma'am. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, it's getting late, so. I don't remember even the houses that we were hit before. I really wanted to get, you know, the cabinets because it gives us more storage space. And the overhang ones, the one that you just saw, can work for us. I don't like the color. And I know I'm being nitpicky by saying that. So let's let's walk it home oh, before it gets too dark out. Not worried about zombies unless they're in our direct line of sight. We'll outwalk them for sure. Oh man, what an adventure. Oh, we're all the way up here next to this gas station. That makes a lot of sense now. We've... So that's the problem with Project Zombo. You can find yourself in a scenario where you just get deep and you start fighting and you start doing all kinds of different stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. Do I want to mark it? No. Um, like, I remember it. I don't think I'll mark it. Not at the moment, at least. I also feel like carpentry, there should be a way to make these things. Like, I can make everything else, right? Goodness. Walls, doors, frames, crates, bar elements, tables, wooden chair, bear. Oh, I passed the spot. Compost. Actually, I probably should set up compost now that I think about it. Uh, bookshelf, bookcase, shelving, double shelves. But I can't like make kitchen shelves, and that's my issue, right? So uh, the double shelves, I think, would probably be around 20 storage versus what I really want them to do. Um, but we're home. We're home. We got a, I don't know why I'm heavy. Clearly, got lots of stuff with me. Can't put anything in there. Got to remember that storage is full. Uh, Non-perishables. The can of oats. I picked up from our original home. Our chives, crackers, nettle, peanut butter, rose hip. I'm going to drop off the tea bag and go in here. Oh, I did pick up these up. Huh? Sugar, salt. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I have lots of weapons on me <laughs> that I don't need to carry. I'm just super over-prepared and I recognize that. Oh, goodness. What's the play here? What am I thinking of? I need storage at this point. Um, I definitely need more storage. I forgot that metal rack is shot. Let me get rid of this great chair because we don't need it anymore. I don't think we ever well we never needed it it's just a matter of it's been sitting there for so long and this was originally like an office space <laughs> so the fact that we turned it into something that looks like a true living space is great in my personal opinion but it's been a experience to do so uh, yeah a little more than halfway through august too so be prepared for that so my thought process at the moment i want to move this water jug if I move the water jug and put the chair, table, chair from Twiggy's, but no, that wouldn't make sense. I feel like I need to move the refrigerator too and place it somewhere. The refrigerator could have gone next to this corner here if I didn't have the battery pack there. No, I thought there was only one space. If I put the refrigerator right next to the battery pack, then... That might work. I got anything real on the refrigerator right now anyway. So let's do that. We pick up or for, too heavy for inventory. I know that. I just wanted to... Oh, okay. I got to put stuff down. Oh, I didn't realize my car fire was away. Can I get... Do that. Put the car fire here. Oh, that strawberry already got stale. Goodness. Come on, let me pick it up. Still too heavy. 40 in cupboards. So just gonna break my back. Can I put the bag down? And then drop the machete here too on the floor. And that should do it, I think. Yep, sweet. All right, cool. Okay, so now we place it. We're gonna place it right next to 
our battery situation. So now we have appliance um, here. I can get this water jug out of the way. I'm still going to keep it though. So I just don't need it inside the house, right? <laughs> Yeah, that looks funky, but it is what it is. And then that frees me up to put the diner stuff right here. My bedroom is going to be on this side for sure. So let me put the perishables back in the refrigerator as I think about it. Even though we're not doing refrigeration at the moment, it still doesn't mean I shouldn't do these things. Oh... Marshmallows don't need to go into the refrigerator. Water bottles can take the one that I've been using back, please. And then we grab the bag. It's late. <laughs> it's late, late, late. All right. So we're good there. Do I have anything on me? No. I'll put that on the back. Sleep. Good to go. Okay. Okay, it's 610. So what I want to do now is grab the car. <laughs> well, eat something. Yeah, like I don't want to go out and be hungry. So oh, we, we've got acorns still. Sweet. Grab the car. So the things that we're going to do with the car are... Drive over to the Spiffos, get the, what is it, the table chair set up that I was thinking about just now. Yeah, so we go over to Spiffos, get the chair set up that I was thinking about, so chair and table set up that we were thinking about, we stick them in the car. From there, we'll head over to that other house that had the one shelf. Again, I don't really like the one that we saw, but it's something to work with. So beggars can't be choosers, right? And if we find more in the future, we will switch them. Uh, but it's better to have them now <laughs> rather than keep searching and look like an idiot. So that's how I feel about it at this point. Okay, we pick up you. It's only a tip. Oh, I didn't pick it up. I'm sorry. There is a chance to break it. There is a 22.5 chance to break it. Good to know. Okay. Furniture. I can't stick it there. Oh, it's 10 a piece. Interesting. There are two pieces here and they're 10 each. So you guys agree. Oh, goodness. Ah, that makes sense if it's heavy though. <laughs> right. And this is why we brought the car. Pick up trunk. So we've got one he oh no. That's not good enough. Can I put you in one of the seats? Yes. So one of these can take up a full seat. There we go. I put a seat on the seat. Yes, absolutely true. Ah, I broke it. Okay. I don't think it matters what direction they're facing. So I'm not going to think about it. There we go. So we've got the chairs that I want, which is good. Then we're also going to get the table here in a second once I put the seat on another seat. Remember to drink water if you haven't been, or stand, move, stretch your body, something.
Spiffo's is a burger joint, yes. I do believe Spiffo is a raccoon, um, as far as the character is concerned, rather than a cat. I didn't realize I said I had sugar on me. Oh, this is still two pieces of a table. That's interesting. There we go. Okay. Oh, that required me to use the crowbar? Really? All right, so I'm going to put one piece of the table here just to save myself some trouble and some space. Just put the crowbar away because I can. And I guess we'll just hold the rest. Okay. Can't physically carry more in the car or on my person. So we're going to drive it back to the spot, get it set up, and then we'll go back for the cabinet. No, I did not leave the car running. It just started on the first try. I have all of my weapons here still. <laughs> I gotta remember that actually, so. Oh, uh, super important. And we walk it back. All right, here we place the table. Table is down. Ooh, I'm already re regretting this. I feel like I should pick up these tiles first, but I'll get over it. Oh. I feel like one of those tiles I'm not going to see. The hammer can go into the bag. Ball can go into the bag. And I put everything else in one or more of the chairs. Take a look here. Lounge chair comes out. Could you make a basement in the game? No, at least not this version of the game. So it is apparently on the roadmap of the development of this game to be able to uh, make basements, have a basement, have a basement. But I mean, from a game code perspective, it doesn't really matter because basements are still just another floor, right? I don't know. There we go. So this is what I was thinking about, right? You have your kitchen area, then of course you have the dining space here, and then of course as you go further, you end up at bedroom entertainment space. So. I'm going to pick up whatever this sheet of paper is on the floor. Yeah, pick all that stuff up. The other chair will go here. I'm going to get rid of you, but we'll do that in a second. So. All right. It's been a day of aesthetics. I don't think that's a problem. We still killed a lot of zombies in the process, and so. It is coming together. It is definitely coming together. I cannot be mad. And in a game like Project Zomboid, it's important to do these mundane type things because. You've got time, you know, especially once you get to a point where you cleared out areas and your base is really coming together. You've got time. See? Nice. All right, so kitchen space, dining space, and we could potentially have guests if we ever find a living survivor. I'm going to pull out this cabinet. So now what I'm thinking about is what I can do with this space here. I'm actually thinking about bringing a TV here, even though I can't, like, you can't do anything with a TV um, at this point, other than VHS tapes and things like that. 
I am thinking that maybe I get this out of here. Teddy bear sitting on the table. That's true. I can definitely put the spiffo place item. And I don't remember how to rotate him. Oh, what do you do? Place item. And is it R? It's R. Yes. Ooh, like right there. There you go. Now you have your spiffo. So I can put a painting back over here as well. Um, we're going to put cabinets on these three, hopefully. And then as you go back, so I could fill all this up with storage, right? If it was, it's just a game, but the aesthetics that we're going for, that's definitely not what we're going to do. If I get rid of this cabinet, which is only a 50 and made storage boxes, I think you can have, you can stack the storage boxes as well, but I don't think that looks great either. So I need to figure out what to do with this space. This filing cabinet is good to go. Like, just be honest about it. Uh, it's still only 15. I didn't realize it's just 15. It's not much. Okay. Um, what can we make real quick? Maybe what we do is make a bookshelf. So if I remember correctly, I can make bookshelves, right? I can go find one too, but I want to make something now. So furniture bookshelf so i can make a bookcase i don't know but it would cover up this painting that's not great hmm. i don't know let me think about that i can put it here on this wall as well technically too hmm. all right all right well let's uh head off real quick before i forget because i don't want to wait until next stream to do it <laughs> potentially can you take out the wall that is brown can you take out the wall of the office thing? I am confused now. Going back into the office, taking a look. You talk about the, the cork board here? Can I get rid of this? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Cork board, gone. I guess that's a good point. It doesn't really fit the aesthetic that we're going for at the moment. So I'll just get rid of the cardboard and put it in the trash. Put the bookshelf here. So that would block this though, wouldn't it? Like using this tile would give me no access to this. I could rotate this, I guess. Can I just do, oh wait, there we go. Hmm. Stick this in the trash so I don't forget. <laughs> not to mention the space is taking up. Why is the cork board so heavy? It's not that heavy in real life. All right. Anyway, so yeah, if we were to rotate. I has items in container. I'm trying to rotate it. I had to drop all the items out of here to rotate it. That's annoying. It's retarded. Oh, right. I'm not gonna do that. Not right now. <laughs> not right now. Focus. What do I want to do? I needed to go back to the other house real quick and get the shelf that we're gonna put into our kitchen. So let's do that real quick before I forget about it. I'm going to eat my marshmallow. You jinx me. You, you mentioned that the car decided to start real quick the first time. And all of a sudden now it wants to go slow on me. Messing this up. Uh, sugar there okay so we're heading back into our old neighborhood i'm just saying you know you put things into the universe and all of a sudden they start happening so just you know say to the universe that you want us to live you want us to have thousands upon thousands of kills and make it to five years <laughs> 
I'll put that out here. Fair enough. All right, all right. This is the neighborhood, right? Did I turn too early? No, I'm good. This is right. Home sweet home. Lots of zombies around. Cut the car off. Get out. Let's get swinging. Ah, I get to chopping. Alright. Neighborhood looks clear. Ah, okay. And even though there is one shelf in here that we identified, I feel like we should still check some of these other houses um, because they can have others too. I didn't really clear this house. I feel like I should do that before I get to grabbing stuff. Oh, this is where that other painting is. I love this like rock and ocean effect. Um, I dig that. No magazines. Bathroom. Gun case. Looks like a rifle, not a shotgun. Not a big deal, though. Ooh. Look at your office, lady. Oh, man. I would have enjoyed, you know, finding our way here earlier. Wait a minute. You had the lamp. I didn't hear any beating noises, but we're still going to check upstairs. Nothing. Yeah, y'all have books galore in this spot. I feel like I should stop checking <laughs> these bookcases. You had a shotgun here. You, to say this. you gotta love Kentucky, man. There you go. Anyway, yeah, so I feel like I should stop checking these bookcases, especially in places where I've already been, because if I start finding things that I was really looking for really hard, uh, I'm just gonna get upset. <laughs> here it goes. All right. Can you notice that I'm on edge? Anytime like I feel like I'm mashing my keys on my keyboard and you can hear it, I, I'm definitely in a space where it's like I'm stressed. Please, nothing go wrong. I mean, this is a small library in this house. Absolutely. So even though this doesn't like fit the way I want it to in terms of color code, this is 50 in terms of storage. So that's amazing. And you don't want to pass that up. So I'm going to pick you up. Oh man, there's a chance to break it. I'm going to have to... Oh, don't break, don't break, don't break. Got it. First time go, sweet. All right, let's hope there's nobody to fight. Here's one. I'm heavy. This, these are bad situations to be in. Okay. You're going for the door, and you're coming to me. Okay. We don't like being this encumbered while fighting zombies. That's bad. It's just as, it's just as bad as being injured when you're this encumbered. But it's only 10. I can put this in the trunk. But because of its weight, it'll take time to transfer. So kill the zombie first. And then put it in. Disco. All right. Did I grab more food? I have one acorn left. Hello. Look at your duffel bag. Did you almost make it a long way? Did you have good things in your duffel bag? You had a sandwich. Huh. 
peanut butter sandwich. It's rotten, though, so you've been dead for a while. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, beat up houses mean zombies have already gone through them, usually. Yes. Glass breaks inward means zombies went inside the house, not coming out of it, so. Good. Nothing for me to use. Kitchen knife. Doesn't hurt to have, but I don't need it. Nothing stands out. I should leave. definitely have learned how to fight smart oh, and sometimes leading the zombies into a house at least some of them can clear out a group and allow you to fight the groups in smaller ways okay we're okay we're okay it's all zombies so here yeah oh <laughs> Again, this is one of the stages where if you don't need the fight, let's not you know take too many risks. Feel like I've been pushing my luck, and I'll come out, lady. You didn't have to make that noise. We all knew they were there. No kitchen with no cabinets. What is with you people? Y'all oh. Oh, this neighborhood is still, like, pretty thick. Y'all all turn like that at the same time? That's frightening. Oh, back into the pole. There you go. Back into a tree line I can't see. Oh, there's zombies there, too. Okay. There's more zombies than I thought. I thought it was just a handful. Okay, there's more there. Uh, all right, come on. Come get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The long blade went up even more. Look at this. How many kills I've been getting with these machete. Goodness gracious. All right, all right, all right. Let me rephrase that. It's not how many kills, because you get experience for every time you chop something. So it's every smack um, that I've made with this machete. God. Here you go. You think we're at 1500 already? Nah, we got 21 more to go. So, but yeah, this this is the place that we had to escape. We ran through here out the back. Um, we did a couple of hopping between these three buildings. It was a nightmare situation. And to think, one month later, we would not even be, you know, because. If you think about it, we've only been three or four blocks away from our original starting location. So, yeah, that's that's insane. Maybe about four to five blocks, right, total of a difference. It took us a month to come back home and clear the zombies that ran us off and originally. That's intense. Welcome home, Raymond. Welcome home. Clearing out your neighborhood. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, uh, but we're really here specifically for the express purpose of finding kitchen shelves. That's what we want. <laughs> revenge story. Yes, I definitely had a revenge story. Oh, man. I feel like, you know, we're going to be doing a lot uh, of different things, but I was really hoping specifically kitchen shelves oh man okay we've rested enough dude i can't remember i don't think these houses had shelving either i recall you know our experience coming through here but i don't remember shelving yeah 
Okay. Okay, well, do you need these other buildings? And, ooh, that one looks nice. Yeah, if your spot doesn't look pretty good, I ain't walking into it. Let's just be honest about it. Uh, you know, these smaller homes, respect. If it's a starter home, maybe you believe in, you know, uh, being a minim minimalist. That's great. But in the zombie apocalypse, I have to become a hoarder. And being a hoarder means getting enough storage to keep the things that we need in an organized fashion. And one of the things that we need for storage is in the kitchen. I need shelves. So that way I can organize the crap that I have properly and know where to find stuff easily when I'm cooking. I hear a zombie. There's no shelf in here, though. Yeah. You got lots of cabinets. I mean, counter space. Lots of counter space. Yeah, let's not fight with it. I mean, it's just, so with big houses and smaller houses, it's a zoning concept. You mix the zoning so that way you have various different income levels in the same neighborhood. They interact with one another. Um, you know, you don't feel like an elitist or separation issues, blah. But on top of that, it is also economically viable because the larger homes bring up the property values of those smaller homes too. So it, it's a mixed bag for why you do that. Um, yeah. Real estate games. Yep, no cabinet, no shelvings. Can we go across the street real quick? I think these would be the last ones I check. Ooh, they have some garages. But yeah, last ones I check before we get back in the car and head back home. We'll get everything set up and start working towards the end of the stream. Um, I didn't realize we've been at it for a while. It's not open. Yeah. Some dense wooded area over there. Bathroom. Well, I hear you. I don't see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. All right. Y'all had things. So somebody tried to survive here. Um, it didn't work out. I see that. Yeah, okay. But still, no cabinets. And maybe I shouldn't think about the rest of it. Can we smash the window screw? Use black glass. Oh! A solar panel part. I can make another... Oh, man. That's, ah, uh, I need to find, do something, space, make space, dude, come on. Oh, wait, we have the car nearby. I just grab it, just grab it, let's go. The zombie scared you? Yeah, I didn't expect it either. I mean, like, I was here, I expected to be indoors, not outdoors. Excuse you. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. I've got another solar panel part. So that puts us at 100 uh, amps, right? So with 100 amps, we're almost to the point where we can run solar without any issues. We need one more solar panel part, if I remember correctly. Can you gonna let me make it in there and put it in there? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. It, it's all shaping up. It's all shaping up. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, well, let's uh, get some water from the old spot. I am hungry. I recognize that. Um, yeah, no. No. I'm gonna open this and eat it. I'm gonna put this solar panel magazine that I don't need anymore over here. I'm gonna walk away.
That was a mushroom soup that we just ate. So, um, I feel weird. I'm, I'm not going to break. I'm not breaking into that house at all. I'm going to just take a look at the other garages that were over here. And if we find another part, if we are that lucky tonight, that would be amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. It has been a journey. Can't see anything that stands out. Let's take care of you guys just in case we don't want to have problems. Yes, I took care of your friend. You get to join them. Only because I didn't identify what they were for you. Uh, the house looks mostly good. I hear stuff happening. hate when I hear like the zombie and it sounds so close and it's probably inside the house. I can't, I can't stand that. Oh man, I hear the noise. Y'all playing the music now too. Oh, we're getting tired. Yeah, respect your energy levels. Open. Open the first time we go. Oh, wait. Smash it. Move breaking glass. Go. Check it, check it, check it. Propane torch is still not bad to grab. We need more metal sheets now. Oh, well, don't think about it. Don't think about it. What do we do? What do we do? We check the other, oh. Yeah, we check the other one here. Does it have a window? I don't see any windows. Yeah, I saw the group. Um. Window here. Smash the window. Remove broken glass. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Go. Yep. Lots of potential. Old muffler. Letter strips, nothing. Crap. All right. Hmm. Come now. Hold down, please. There we go. Okay. I see more garage opportunities. Ah. Am I really pushing my luck? There's a pickaxe there? And a sledgehammer. Oh my goodness. Is this like a road construction situation? Yeah, y'all y'all had it, man. Yep. I can't pass up the pickaxe. Pickaxe is one of the biggest damage dealing uh, items in game for the axe department. I need to come back through here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do not push your luck any further. Respect what the universe has given to you. Take it and leave. That's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. We're not going to burn ourselves out and whatnot either. We are tired. Oh, okay. Thank you, old neighborhood. And now I feel like, you know, the thing to do is to come back to our old neighborhood over here and really liberate the space. I haven't cleared the entire place out. You know, let's just be honest about that right now. Um, I don't think I plan to either. I did want to do looting, but now I'm starting to feel like, you know, again, more of these solar panel parts are out here. They're in these garages near the spawn points of generators so if I can find one or two more one more is perfect in all honesty I can run essentially everything during the day without any trouble if I get two more what will happen is I can charge my batteries while r running the refrigerator so that becomes like the best scenario right um yeah yeah Man, we're about to have stable 
energy. And then it's just a matter of managing our battery, our batteries. Um, and we're halfway through August. Yeah, it's August 14th at this point. So tomorrow being the 15th, we're, 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 we're there. We're still using the same uh, gas tank, you know, so we haven't overdone it. We've been good and very good. Let's, let's what? Let's go ahead and just grab the cabinet now. We'll leave the solar panel part for now. Yeah, but the immediate cabinet space, once I get it, allows me to start restructuring things. We'll definitely hit 15. Well, from everything we just did, we're four away. We won't close. Actually, we're almost normal weight, too. Let, let's finish it tonight. We'll get to 1,500, and we'll put on uh, will be normal weights before we call it a night. So by putting this here, which the color's not that bad. I mean, uh, maybe I'm just being a stickler. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'm just being a stickler about it. But now we have more access, which is great. If I put all my pots and pans up top, nah, nah. Uh, we can put our flower. So how does this look? So that's one, that's two. So put you there. My dried stuff can go up here. So anything that would typically be found in a box or a bag, maybe I put up top. My sugars can go up there too. What else? Do I, I do have another sugar there. So sugar goes in there too. The yeast, I feel like that's like my big goods. Yeah, yeah, wait. So sugar, more stuff goes up top. Yeast could go up top. The oats can go up top. My canned goods, I forgot I had some in this place already. And those are the things that I also need to think about. So the rice can go up top. Um, if I start putting my canned goods in, you know, the house too, that puts me in a position where, you know, we can be basically to a place where we don't have to leave the spot that we're at, you know, which isn't a bad thing. All right, move that here, put our use up here. Got a lot of random <laughs> assortment of things. The mustard can go to the bottom. So I've got this cooking pot. Which number are you? Three. So this cooking pot of water can go to number three. Dried goods. So beans, now the cereal is going to go up top. So cereal can go next to the flour and oats and things like that. Mm -hmm. so that's number two. Mac and cheese. Well, what do I have over here? So all of these dried goods, the beans, the kidney beans, blah, will go inside of you. I can't do them all. That's how heavy those beans are. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and do that quickly. There you go. The rice is going to go number two. The oats, number two. Brown sugar, number two. Corn flour, number two. The sugar needs to go over there too. Sorry. The rice. You can't put anything else in there. Oh, wait a minute. Put in the wrong spot, didn't I? Crap. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. We're good. We're good. I'm just freaking out. Okay. Um. What else do I need to put? What else do I want to put in there? Yeah, the rice. Number two. All right. So after I think of that, I don't know what else I want to put in this corner yet. We'll talk about that later. 
I actually rearranged it. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm a freak. I'm sorry. It is a video game. I don't need to be this organized. Nor does it matter when it comes to cooking items. Um, but I did. Yeah. Yeah. I did that. Oh, I can put these jars over there now, too. I can take them off of this ground. Oh. Uh, the jars we pick up. Jars we pick up. All right, so jars can go with all the rest of the miscellaneous type items. There. Okay, we're all set. Super tired. Let's get some sleep real quick. And then we will, we won't work out. We'll just go straight to sleep. In the morning, we got to make sure we eat and eat well. Um, it's actually another thought that I just had. I, when I have the skills for it, want to bring in a means to be able to cook in, indoors. So I could put, so I, I want to always be able to have access to this. So I either put it here or right underneath the window, put it underneath the window. So I need, I want to put something here in terms of like a stove or some type um yeah 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 okay i need to eat something though first let's get some food going i apologize for the noise um, ch -ch -ch -ch. frying pan now nah. what do i want to make what do i want to make i can make bread again no that's too heavy we're going to make a stew. We're not using beans. A soup. We don't want to use any of this either. Because we want to... Oh, I could make the oats, but we're not going to do that either. We're heavy because we're hungry. I'm going to stick that there. I'm going to stick you there. Don't need any of this. The pen, the paper, just because. All right, let's go. Let's go get some food. Don't plan on using you. Thank you, though. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? I want to walk out here. The solar panel part, um, that was another thing wanted to set up before we get off tonight. Crayons. All right, that's a word for you. And we're gonna play linguistics, right? Do you say crown or do you say crayons? Um, and linguistically, depending on the, which one you say, can actually point to what region of the world you picked it up from, at least from how your li linguistic dialect was built. It doesn't necessarily mean that you ever lived in that space, but a good example is I use, I say crowns. Uh, my family is from Southern United States. Therefore, there's a reason why I say crown. And it's not the crown that you put on your head. And I know it's not spelled crown, but that's how it gets pronounced pragmatically amongst those people. Whereas when I'm in New York, for example, or other northern areas where I feel like, you know, it's probably crayon, I actually will do my best to pronounce it all the way through. It's one of those weird things. Uh, and it's, there are a lot of words out there that have those linguistic aspects that you have to think, well, you don't think about, but they do come. So. Crops. Let's see if I can find some food real quick. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't think you say either. Ah, oh, man. We are hungry and we are foraging for our food. I'm not going to pick up things that we don't need to eat. Oh, I just found some cabbage. That's amazing. Thank you. I feel like I should just eat the cabbage straight out. Oh. It's all sticks. Got lots of random things with me. 
that I feel like are weighing me down, and I recognize that. Maggots. I'll be getting those. By the way, you can eat maggots in this game, if that's something that you need to do to survive. We're going to eat these mushrooms, though. One of them gave us 21 hunger, so that's actually going to reset that whole thing. Won't be hungry anymore. Sweet. And if I can find more... A few more. Yeah, strawberries. There we go. Just get some more food to stock up on. We'll go back, uh, finish up the solar panel part and be in a good space. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I am going to discard you. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Nothing, discard you. Don't need the corkscrew. Take the berries. Take the berries. It's amazing that I just got another one. I'm sorry that I put that, you know, in your head as a thought. I do truly apologize. I heard something break out of a window. All right. 1,500 kills. Here we come. Yes, yes, yes. Come see me. Hey, Sweet Pepper. How you doing? How's the stream going? We're about to hit 1,500 kills, but I, I believe that is it right there, right? Uh, 1,500, exactly. We are setting up our home. Been looking for another solar panel part, hopefully, so that way we can get stable energy. We're still a little low on our amp, uh, the amps that we generate. But we've been doing really good. We're almost to a normal weight. It's been great, honestly. If you know anything about Project Zomboy, uh, <laughs> honestly, it's, oh man, that almost went bad. Anyway, yeah, honestly, you know, the, the universe has treated us well, very well, very well. Did run into another alarm situation, house alarm situation, but we didn't run. We kind of worked our way through the neighborhood, so it was nice. And now... I don't know why I'm still here. I'm looking for food, and I have food now, but now I'm still killing things. And <laughs> uh oh, getting that 1500 kills on the marker for the evening. Ooh, we did, you know, get a table and set of chairs from the Spiffos to go into our house. You know, we got the aesthetics going, which is nice. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll do a recap here in a second once I feel the love which why are there so many zombies back here in this forest area like y'all why didn't you come into town to get yourself food like are you all the folks who thought you could escape or something the airborne born strand and it just didn't work out for you what is your face black for yo 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 <laughs> <laughs> I should be getting more views. Um, you know, interestingly enough, I got a lot of views on YouTube. Um, but a lot of the views I'm probably receiving or not receiving is primarily because of the time of which I'm playing at, right? So for the East Coast of the United States, this is really just a bad time. Uh, for the West Coast, what is it? three hours i mean i if i started around 11 o'clock i would pick up more west coast viewers but i i would bet you that if you went on twitch right now and just looked at other people under uh project zomboid what you'll probably see is three or four maybe five people who have a few thousand viewers and those are those heavy viewer uh heavy streamers during this time zone so it's something just to be aware of like i'm probably one of those people who's stuck right in the middle i'm not worried about it 
I'm not doing it for the views. <laughs> I mean, everybody's going to say like, yeah, it, it's nice to have. Um, I'm doing it for fun. I am doing it for fun. If it turns into something that my fun also supports me or gives me a, a little bit of extra cash, fair enough. But, you know, this is a way for me to chat while I'm playing rather than just sitting here and playing by myself. And hopefully I am entertaining you at the same time. Um, I just noticed that I'm still carrying things I probably don't need right now, like the propane torch and the pickaxe. I didn't need to bring that with me. It's definitely getting more rain. I could walk while foraging. Or I should forge while walking. I'm just gonna... Yes, I definitely agree with that. Growth definitely happens over time. Oh. Uh, then, as you said, luck is part of it, right? You know, who pops in, when they pop in, why they pop in, and maybe somebody brings their friend or whatever, you know, things like that. It's part of all entertainment is luck. Timing is everything in business. No. <laughs> There's no way to gauge what time is best. Now, for me, you know, when I was a kid, and I say I'm kid. <laughs> I don't know what classifies as kid. I have a degree in aging. Oh, so I should be able to say that I am not young, but I'm also not old. So when I was a kid, it's a relative statement. But I used to love listening to like late night radio where somebody was chatting in your ear and it was really just background noise but the person's voice or maybe the topic catches your ear every now and so often if i could be that person on twitch or on youtube moving forward where you go through a video and you just like yeah that guy makes a lot of sense or man that was interesting and you just you fall asleep listening to me i'm all for that i would love to be that person for you and anybody else um and if I'm annoying, please <laughs> turn it off. But if not, you know, just hang out and breathe and relax and distress. Uh, watch me freak out a couple of times and then call the night. That's what I hope for. That's what I really hope for. All right, so we're back at base. Um, we hit the 1500. So yeah, we're at 1518. Picked up a little bit of food. We definitely have things on our person that we don't need to be carrying at the moment. We're going to drop that off and let's see if we can put together our last solar panel piece before we start calling it. So we pop in. <laughs> I definitely have the voice. I appreciate that. That's nice. It's good feedback. It really is. Um, we're going to drop the pick, Alex. Let's just use our four space for now. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hit, drop that there, drop that there. Good, good, good. Going to drop the hunting knives as well, just to give us a little more space. I do believe the solar panel part situation is primarily wires, right? So floor panel is just three electrical wire. I think I have that. I think I have that. <laughs> I have a podcast voice. I appreciate it. No, again, it's one of those things that that's my hope. I wouldn't call it a dream. And I would be clear about that. It's not a dream of mine for me to do podcasts or something like that. But it it would be nice you know, if somebody else, you know, many people just found themselves listening to BV and was like, yeah, have you ever listened to do BV before? You know, he just talks about random stuff. It's nice to listen to. Like, that's the feedback that I want. Now, on the product Zomboard side of things, I know I have freaked out. <laughs> um, and even that, you know, in itself can be fun and relaxing in various different ways. And so, yeah, that, that's what I want. I have no electrical wires. Oh, man. I've got one on me. I need to find more electrical wires before I can put down another panel. Okay. I'm going to put this in clear view so I don't forget about it. So that's first. Ah. Uh, well, we, we found one more. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, a little over. So let's just take a quick inventory. If you haven't noticed, uh, or if you haven't keep and go, we've been organizing our space. We set up our tiles, you know, for our kitchen area. We got one overhanging cabinet. I do want to get two more, which is on the plan. We brought in our uh, dining space. So we got a couple of booths from the Spiffos um, up north, and we found ourselves Twiggies for the first time, so that was a great experience. Um, uh, this Wednesday evening, we have made it to 1,500 kills, which I think is insane because, um, what, maybe one or two streams ago, we just hit our 1K, so we've been doing that many kills, that much fighting along the way. That said, we're at one more month, seven days, and four hours. It, for those of you who are interested, here are the skills. Our foraging skill is the highest, and that says a lot because I really do a fair amount of foraging. We get food consistently, and this park ranger, you gotta remember that's one of my biggest skills, um, focuses on foraging. We hit 85 kilos. We're not technically in the under i mean the normal range yet because it is still technically a little over but probably the next morning we will be normal weight which is great which now means as a vegan in project zomboid i have to show you how to manage your weight know when to eat fats or not and how to keep that number high it is technically working ourselves into bulking season because in another 15 days we'll be in september and as September hits, fall hits in Project Zomboy. So your food situation changes, the temperature changes, etc. Um, regardless of that, though, it's been great. We're not in any type of danger or pain. We have lots of things set up. We do have our solar panels going, even though technically we're not producing enough energy to charge our batteries. So we're being very sparing with that. But even still, we're in a good spot. Raymond Charles has been the dude. Oh, so on this 100 day challenge, we've done about a third of it, making it past one month, and we're still driving on. Regardless, thank you for hanging out. It's been a wonderful experience. I love Project Zomboy. I love streaming. I love just talking on a wall. That's what I've been doing. But I've had a few people responding back to me, and that's been great too. Oh, yeah. Next time, we'll get the other solar panel up. We'll go back to our, our old stamp, stamping grounds again and clear out a neighborhood, check some of those more garages. Maybe we can find one or two more of those uh, solar panel parts and then we'll be perfect on power. Yeah. But until then, thank you. Cheers. And I'll see you the next one.